So a little detail we have to add here is, remember we have uh, two buttons here, okay? Previous and next, which have two different URLs. One has page number minus one, the other one has page number plus one. So to fix that will be, um, will be rather easy. So let's come here and say, right where there's URL here. So we have that universal URL, but let's say URL, oh, we can say next page link so that it's more descriptive. And we'll do that and we'll say, this is going to be equal to URL, whatever uh, it is, whatever is in URL at that time. So we can do the same for previous page link like so. So let me just copy these two. And then when it comes to this here, we can forget about URL itself. Let me just paste this here. So I will replace URL with one of these. Just put it there. So this is next page link. And I can remove this, duplicate that, and then say previous page link, like so, and out. Okay. So if key is equal to page, let's add that. So here we're going to subtract. Okay. We're going to subtract there. And then uh, I think that does it. So same thing here as well. So let me copy this one. Next, boom, right there. Okay, and then duplicate that, put the previous one, boom, and then put the minus right there. So of course, these others should follow as well. So I will do the same thing here, boom. And there as well, bam. Duplicate, duplicate, and use next on this one copy and next up there very cool so here at the end here we can put these guys so that we can see what's going on so that's the entire link there so maybe instead of here let me just go down to the paginated version so instead of putting this whole thing here what we will do is remove this part so that we only have php tags in here and then i'm going to echo the next page link like so copy that right here as well paste and let's say priv like so all right this should be interesting so let me refresh here and let's see what we have so as you can see, we have uh, quite a mess over there. So let me do this. So as you can see now, what's going on is that it says uh, localhost slash uh, my book and then slash it starts with localhost again. Now, this is because every time you click on a link here, uh, for example, this link internally is just profile.php and the localhost my book is automatically added by the browser. So it's doing exactly the same thing here. So for us to prevent this thing from happening is to, so right here where we are putting our server name, instead of just putting the server name here, we have to put our HTTP and concatenate. So let's put HTTP full colon, slash slash like that so this tells it explicitly that this is the entire link starting from here so if you're ever going to use um ssl certificates you might want to change this to https like so now since the website is quite big this is a social website wherever you had put all this you would need to go and change one by one so i'm going to show you a way in which we can avoid, uh, we can do this once for the whole website and then it's automatically done for the rest of it.
So we'll do that when we convert this into an MVC format uh, structure. So let's come back here and refresh and let's see that uh, everything is working fine now. So we're on page two, of course, if I click, let me zoom out. This is page two. So if I click here, we're going to go to page one. And if I click here, it's saying page zero. However, page zero is still page one. So boom, still page zero, still page zero. But if I click here, page two, page three, page four. So it's working very, very well. So that's pagination for you. Okay, so one down, a few more to go. So we're going to copy exactly this onto other pages as well. So the one that comes to mind is the profile.php right there. So let's go down here where we are reading our where we are reading our content from, which is profile underscore content default. That's the one right there. So this is where we're reading our posts from, or is it? Where is get posts? This include post.php. So wherever posts is coming from, that's where we are supposed to get this. Okay, so it seems profile.php is the one that actually reads the posts. So let's go to profile.php. I can't believe I'm getting lost where I'm supposed to know where we are reading our posts from. Uh, where is this? Oh, is it at the top actually? Where are we reading posts from? Get following. Ah, there we go. Finally, posts, get posts, post ID. Okay, so this one will be different because there is get posts here. So this is actually handled much, much better because uh, our posts are in a different um, in a different place. So what we will do is they're, supposed, they're in a class, which is uh, a better way of doing things. So let's go to the post class here. And where is this post class right there? So get posts, what does get posts do actually? To the top and beyond. Where are you get posts? Right there, great. So as you can see here, we have the limit 10 and it shouldn't be like that. So let me go to single, uh, where was that? Index.php. So here now that we know the the pagination is working just fine. We can change our limit to 10 because we want at least 10 posts on one page, which is much better. So what we can do for the other side is to get exactly this, right? Uh, this can be in the other page, but we just need to get this part here. Bam, because that gives us the limit and offset which we can put on our query. So once I copy that, I'm going to go to the post class here where it says get posts. And right here, I'm going to paste like so. The only thing I did is to forget the page number. So let me go back here. How were we getting the page number? Where are you page number? So these two guys here, copy. And let's go to the post class right at the top here. Paste. Like so. Okay, and so just like that, we have our work cut out for us. So let's go here and say limit, limit. So that we use the limit variable instead. And then we're going to say space offset. And then we put the actual variable offset like so let me remove this annoying word wrap like that so 
order by uh, id descending limit by limit offset by offset and uh, that's all we needed to actually do and we're limiting it to 10 so let's put three just so we can test this as well so let me go to my uh, profile so there's one two three so it's working so let me try and put a page at the top here say page is equal to two and you see i'm getting different posts here so it's actually working the only thing we need are the buttons of course to give us that awesome url so i can close post class bam and then i can go to the index of php where we had created this awesome function right there now if you look this function is quite um, this function is quite big uh it's ruining the look here so what we can do is just cut this whole thing out so but before we cut let me just copy it and then what i would do is here i'm looking at um, a class name that we are using uh throughout when we need posts like for example here uh we're just reading directly right hmm. okay okay so what we can do let me go to the classes here we don't actually have a functions uh page do we let me go to auto load okay so there's no functions here so what we can do uh here is to create a new file where we can just put simple functions so that we don't have to instantiate uh, classes for very simple tasks so let me put some php tags here php and then i'm going to have a function i'm going to call this one uh, function let me zoom in a little bit so i'm going to call this one function um just something simple like get uh, hmm, pagination link something like this function pagination link open close like so so let me save this I'm going to save this one in classes but I'm going to say functions.php now of course you have to go into auto load and add it here otherwise uh, it won't be useful at all so let's add it just um, after this one because functions should uh, be available to everyone so we put them at the top so functions like that great close auto load functions so here you can put some simple functions here so i'm going to say a link type i'll put a type here so that we can choose whether we want the link for the uh for the left for the next or the previous page so i'm going to paste my code here ah, let's use the shift tab to bring these guys back to earth like so okay this is uh, pretty good. So I have to make sure that all the variables I'm using here don't need any outside interference except type. So I just need to use type there. So there's the next page link and there's the previous page link. So uh, pagination. Actually, it's it's pointless to do this twice when both are being evaluated at the same time. So let me just remove that. So what I would do instead, I'm going to create a uh, an array. So let's make an array here. I'm going to say R. Oops. Is equal to array. So an empty array there, which is good. And then let's go down here, very very bottom, and say return array, so that regardless we still return the array. And then at the very bottom here, what I will do is say array, uh, let's say next, something like this, next page, if you want to be more specific, and we're going to say next page link. 
So since we can only return one value, we can use an array instead and return more values inside that array. So next and previous, like so, and then put prev yes right there. Okay, so that this returns both links at the same time, or it will return uh, an empty array. Now, to avoid returning an empty array completely, what we could do is, or to cause an error when we're trying to read this, I can just copy this, put it right there at the top, and then just uh, assign it an empty string like that to begin with. Yeah, so that regardless, I still have that array when returning the data. Okay, so this is good. So now I can just say pagination link. Let me copy this here. And let me come to index.php. So we've replaced all this code here, so we don't have to do much here. So up to get URL right there. So I will just do that and delete. And instead of this, because we still need, okay, let me paste that there, just so I don't forget. We still need, um, I'll assign this to a, a variable. I'm just going to call it uh, PG for pagination is equal to, and then we get pagination link like that. So this contains the links now. So what I can do is come down to this page right there. So instead of echoing just next page link, I'm going to echo the PG like so, and then say, what did I name these guys? Next page, prev page. So I'll say next, this one is for the next page, like so. And you guessed it, on the other one, it's previous page. And by the way, um, to avoid uh, typing all this you can replace this php and echo if this is what you are supposed to do you can just put an equal sign here and it will still work fine like so okie doke so let's uh, give it a test run on our index page just to make sure we haven't queued anything and as you could imagine we actually have queued something okay so terrible terrible now the fact that it has a uh, where index.php and the question mark there gives me the idea that it actually went to this part to get this stuff here. So the only problem is somewhere. Server script name. Okay. URL question mark. So at least it gets to this because we are seeing the question mark. So we are getting that correct key value. Uh, we're going through the get variables page number. So the reason here I think we are having a problem is because page number is undefined. I don't know why I forgot about that. Okay, so then let me go back to index.php because I know how I created page number. So let me copy that from there. And speaking of that, oh yeah, we actually do need page number here. So I'll leave those there. I wanted to actually cut them. But let's put them oopsie daisy. Let me copy this again. Copy and paste there. Awesomeness. I think it should work this time. What do you think? Oh no, it's not working again. 